M-code is the modernized military signal intended to supersede Y-code over the next few years. M-code is an additional modulation applied to both GPS L1 and L2 bands, simultaneous with the CA and PY codes. M-code uses a binary offset carrier modulation, which spreads the signal even wider than PY code, improving resistance to jamming. The M-code signal introduces a new navigation data message structure with greater flexibility than the rigid legacy navigation data method of subframes and pages repeating every 12 and a half minutes. M-code provides higher power levels to further improve jam resistance. It uses improved and more flexible cryptography, making it more secure. An improved key management system simplifies use for authorized users. The security architecture improves the ability of a receiver to detect and reject false spoofing signals. And finally, there is a mandate. New military procurements are required to implement M-Code solutions. M-Code has been in development for a number of years now. As specifications, user requirements, and government policies have changed, Spirant has responded with three M-Code simulation capabilities and products. The first is SIM M code, which produces pseudo M using a commercial encryption standard as defined in ICD GPS 700. This allowed receiver manufacturers to develop in an unclassified environment. Eventually, real M code is needed for testing, and the government provided data sets of real M code that are played through a simulator without the simulator having to have any knowledge of the underlying code generation. As receiver development progressed, simulation needs evolved from receiver development to integration and fielding of the receivers. Simulators are now allowed to implement the modernized security architecture, Mensa, and internally generate M-code. Our SIM Mensa product was released and granted security approval in 2018. The basic GSS 9000 is an unclassified commercial off-the-shelf product. With the SIM Mensa and SIMSAS products that upgrade to M and Y code, the simulator can quickly be upgraded for restricted signal processing. The upgrade, which is easily done on site, includes the addition of a security module, a key fill port, and software. The simulator is then able to support multiple types of scenarios, from the simplest scenario where you just throw in a key and run, to scenarios that test the finest details of Y and M code functions. After upgrading, the simulator retains support for real-time hardware in the loop testing with multiple antennas, multiple vehicles, multiple constellations. So what's in store for M code moving forward? The rollout of M code is approaching operational status. Presently, all but seven satellites are capable of transmitting M code in the constellation and user equipment is being fielded. The modernization effort continues to move forward with a roadmap for space and user segments and simulator capabilities. Block 3 satellites are currently being launched. There are four GPS-3 satellites in orbit. Future builds of GPS-3 will include additional capabilities. Improvements are being made to the ground segment for better supporting the constellation. The current generation of receivers is being implemented and development of the next generation receivers is underway. The specifications that guide simulator development are distilled from user equipment specifications. This keeps Spirant very active and working to implement simulation capabilities in time to meet the receiver development needs. With the legacy military signal, there's been little change to Y code for a long time, with the plan being to transition to M code. With a vast amount of SASM user equipment still in use, support for Y code will be needed for the foreseeable future. While selective availability was turned off by presidential directive in 2000, there has been some concern in the community that with the SVs still capable, that it could be turned back on. The stated policy is that it won't be, but the final word is that the requirement is dropped from the GPS-3 satellites.